We begin tonight with our veterans and how the VA is faring during the pandemic. Yeah, the downward trend of cases is good news. Plus, starting Tuesday, some visitation restrictions will drop. It's a sign of hope in this pandemic, but they are still being cautious. THV 11's Frederick Price shows us the changes. We feel that the trends are sustaining in the lower portions that we can make our visitation a little bit better. Working in healthcare teaches you to adapt to change, and throughout the pandemic, it's something the Little Rock VA Hospital has especially dealt with. The Delta variant hit, and you know it's gut wrenching to be have be, to have to make tough decisions again. Chris Durney is the public affairs officer and says during the summer surge of Delta variant cases, the hospital saw up to 40 COVID patients in the hospital. About 20 of those were in the ICU. Now he says there appears to be light at the end of the tunnel. Today. Uh, about a month or two later, we're all the way down to seven people total in the hospital. No one's on ventilators. And the hospital will drop from a high alert level to an elevated level. What this means is that veterans with appointments, procedures, and anything else that cannot be done virtually can now be done in the hospital with one visitor. A little bit more clinical service, uh, more face-to-face, -face, but still being very, very careful about the COVID surge. Patients who are suffering from serious or terminal illnesses will be able to have an extra person by their bedside. But he says they'll be staying consistent with some of the other existing policies. We're still going to require masks. We're going to require social distancing. Although the hospital was still being very careful and watching data daily inside and out, it's a refreshing feeling as the return to normalcy draws near. We know that more people will be able to come in and see their loved ones and take care of them and, and uh, be with them, which, of course, helps in their recovery. In Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News.